That's the way that it works in an airplane. Now how about a helicopter? Well, in a helicopter it really works the same way. There's only one difference. Instead of the lift being related to the forward flight speed of the aircraft, in the case of the helicopter, the lift is related to the RPM of the rotor. And the lift being produced by that rotor is proportional to the angle of attack of those rotor blades multiplied times the square of that RPM. In a helicopter, a similar thing happens when you allow the RPM to go down. When the RPM is allowed to decrease in the rotor of the helicopter, then the angle of attack of the rotor blades must increase. As the angle of attack of the rotor blades increases, eventually it will increase to a point where the rotor blades will stall, just like the airplane wing stalls. But his RPM is very low, and the thrust that that tail rotor can produce is proportional to the square of that RPM. For instance, if you only have 70% of your normal RPM at that point, then you're only going to be able to produce 50% of your normal thrust on that tail rotor. 